Welcome to Read by Robin. This is a very special fan fiction reading of My Immortal, the Harry Potter fan fiction. I read two chapters at a time and take a break after each one to tell you my favorite part. Uh, I have not been able to control my accent while doing any of these recordings, so uh, whatever chaos comes out of my face is what you get. So let's start this. Chapter 15. Author's not stop flaming, okay? By the way, you suck from no one. Every time someone flames me, I'm gonna slip my wrists. Thanks to Raven for Lepin Pin. Ebony, Ebony, Draco shouted sadly. No, please come back. But I was too mad. Whatever, now you can go and have sex with vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood red key. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Vampire. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to slip my wrists. I drank the blood all depressed. Then I looked at my black GC watch and noticed it was time to go to biology class. I put on a short ripped black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front in blood red letters and all ripped in a spiky belt. Under that, I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly, the guitar turned to Draco. Enemy, I love you, he shouted sadly. I do not care what those fucker preps and povers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Then he started to sing the Chronicles of Life and Death right in front of the entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre, and Marilyn Manson. OMFG, I said after he was finished. Some fucking preps stared at us, but I was just stuck up my middle fingers that were covered in black nail polish and were entwined with Draco's now at them. I love you, I said, and then we started to kiss just like Hilary Duff and sing a mem in a Cinderella story. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade right then. We looked at each other and all shocked and then went together. Yeah, so I still can't control my accent, whatever. Uh, I, I like how her guitar transformed into Draco. That's my favorite part. Chapter 16. Boy, this is giving me a headache. This is, aw this is awful. Oh no, chapter 16 is going to be a long one. Okay, let's settle in for this. We ran happily to Hogsmeade. There we saw the stage where GC had played. We ran in happily. MCR were there playing Helena. I was so fucking happy. Gerard looked even sexier than he did in the picture. Even Draco thought so. I could totally see him getting an erection, but it didn't matter because I knew that we were the only true ones for each other. I was wearing a black leather mini dress and black leather platinum boots with red ripped fishnets. Draco was wearing a black baggy MCR t-shirt shirt and black baggy pants. Anyway, we started moshing to Helena. We French. We ran up to the front of the bands to stage dive. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the others. We gasped. It wasn't any of them. It was Valsamore and the Death Dealers. That's a great band name. What the fuck, Draco? I'm not going to a concert with you, I shouted angrily. Not after what happened to me last time. Even if it's MCR, you know how much I liked him. What? Cause we, you know, he gadgeted uncomfortably. Cause guys don't like to talk about you know what. Yeah, cause we, you know, I yelled in an angry voice. We won't do that again, Draco promised. This time, we're going with an escort. OMFG, WTF, are you giving into the mainstream, I asked. So I guess you're a prep or a Christina or what now? No, he muttered loudly. Are you becoming a prep or what? I shooted angrily. Enemy, I'm not. Please come with me. He fell down to his knees and started singing The World is Black by GC to me. 
I was flattened because that's not even a single. He had memorized the lyrics just for me. Okay, I guess I will have to, I said. And then we Frenched for a while. Blah, 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 blah. And I went up to my room. Bloody Mary was standing there. Hajima Shati, girl, she said happily. She speaks Japanese, so do I. That means how you do in Japanese. BTW Willow, that fucking poster got spelled. She failed all her classes and she skipped math. Raven, you fucking suck. Fuck you. It serves that fucking bitch right. I laughed angrily. Well, anyway, we were feeling all depressed. We watched some gothic movies like Does Nightmare Before Christmas. Maybe Willow will die too, I said. Kawaii. Bloody Mary shook her head energetically, lethargically. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I have confession after she got expelled. I murdered her and Lupin did it with her because he's a necklace flag. Kawaii, I commented happily. We talked to each other in silence for the rest of the movie. Oh, hey, BTW, I'm going to a concert with Draco tonight at Hogsmeade with MCR, I said. I need to wear the hottest outfit ever. Bloody Mary nodded energetically. OMFG, let's go shopping. In Hot Topic, right? I asked, getting out my special Hot Topic loyalty cards. No, my head snapped up. What? My head spun. I could not believe it. Bloody Mary, are you a prep? No, no, she laughed. I found some cool gothic stores near Hogwarts, that's all. Ha, you told about them. I sure told be Draco or Diablo or Vampire. Don't even say that name to me or me. Dumbledore, she said. Let me just call our Brahms. Oh my god, Dumbledore? I asked quietly. Yeah, I saw the map for Hogsmeade on his desk, she told me. Come on, let's go. We were going a few punk golf stores, especially for the concerts and Hogmaids. The salesperson was OMG hotter than Gerard, except not, because that's impossible. And he gave me a few dresses. We only have these for the real goths. The real goths, me and Bloody Mary asked. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many posers there are in this town, man. Yesterday, Lupin and Snap tried to buy golf a camera pouch. He shook his head. I didn't even know they had a camera. Oh, MFG, they're going to spy on me again, I cried, running out of the room, wearing a long black dress with lots of red tulle coming out and very low cut with a huge slit. Oh, my Satan, you have to buy that outfit, the salesperson said. Yeah, it looks totally hot, said Bloody Mary. You know what? I am going to give it to you for free because you look really hot in that outfit. Hey, are you going to be at the concert tonight, he asked. Yeah, I am, actually. I look back at him. Hey, BTW, my name's Ebony Darkness Dementia Tara. What's yours? Tom Ridd, he said, and ran a hand through his black dyed hair. Maybe I'll see you there tonight. Yeah, I don't think so, because I'm going with my BF Draco. You sick perv, I yelled angrily. But before he could beg me to go with him, Hargrid flew in on his black broom looking worried. Oh, for God, Ebony, you need to get back to the castle now! Uh, so yeah, my accent's still gonna just be all over the place. It's not gonna be that way for the rest of the story. This story's all over the place. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I didn't actually have a favorite part in this. Oh, maybe the Tom Ridd. The Tom Ridd. Ooh, yes. If that doesn't turn out to be Tom Riddle later, then I'll actually be disappointed in this piece of shit. Uh, but thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, whatevs. Thank you.